Today, that uh, breaking headline in the health world, could just one dose of the HPV vaccine be enough to prevent cervical cancer? If so, this is huge. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandi is here now with more. And doctor, this is big news. Cervical cancer, the leading cause of cancer deaths in women worldwide. Does this save lives? Yeah, it is big. Okay. It's one of the leading causes of death. And now, right now, it's recommended that you get the vaccine in three doses over a six-month period. But new research suggests that one dose may be enough to protect the majority of women from cervical cancer. And the data right now shows the protection from a single dose lasts at least four years. So more research needs to be done. But it's a real breakthrough for developing countries, especially where more than 80% of cervical cancer cases occur and they have less access to proper health care. But, but there is a catch. The results of the study were based on the vaccine Cervarix, but most doctors in the U.S. administer Gardrio. Mm. And so you know that this is important at this time to continue with the three-shot protocol. Of course, talk to your doctor about this new information and see if it applies to you. So what about the push for, for young men to get this? Because a, a father called you with a question, right, about his son? Yeah, you know, a father. Before I say it real quick, you know, I think that the stand should be made that HPV vaccine does save lives, does prevent cervical cancer. A lot of patients, parents, and their patients come to me and say, listen, you know, should I give this for my young child? And I, see, I say overwhelmingly yes, because if we can prevent cervical cancer, it's a real, real big deal. Here's the question, though. Tim, one of our viewers, wrote to us and said, he has a 16-year-old son, but he's hesitant to give the HPV vaccine because it was something that was first just for females, now it's for males. So what he's asking is that what's in it he doesn't understand and how do you get oral cancers from HPV unless the implication is that you know his son is having oral sex so so here are the facts that you know what many 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 men get oral cancer and th the fact is that if you look at people 14 to 44 years of age 80 percent of them have oral sex with their partners heterosexual or ho homosexual there's no implication the problem is that people are dying right yes. when people are dying let's look at the facts and say so, you know if, if men and women get this vaccine and we can prevent people from dying from cervical cancer, from penile cancer, from oral cancer, from rectal cancer, all these cancers that are really killing people, I think we should do it. And obviously you should talk to your doctor, but those are the facts. Okay. And, and, and the thing is, people are worried about the implication that it can't be my child, right? My child's an angel. Well, the, the problem is that your child, along with many, many others, you know, have sex before the age that you think or what we feel should be consented. Lots of seniors have sex. 62% of girls before their 12th grade so have sex. So make sure sex. you talk to your and doctor. And the shot stops the virus, stops it? So what it is is that the shots prevent you from getting the initial infection, okay. and that leads okay. to prevention of cancer. So really important uh, study and the implication for the conversation. Thank right. you, doctor. We appreciate it, Very always. Good. And if you have a question for the good doctor or health concern, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.